Well, hello people, and welcome back to part 16 of Rannoch, our vanilla boreal build. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I've just been enjoying a little bit of the hustle and bustle around Goodwin Square, though we set up last episode. There's something so enticing about a vanilla plaza these days, isn't there? I can't stop building them, <laughs> as it turns out. Either way, welcome back, everyone. Uh, today's episode, I would like to... Uh, begin respecting this interchange, really. Uh, I think when we have big highway networks like this, it's always fun to prepare a sight line to some larger infrastructure. And today that larger infrastructure is going to take the form of one of King Leno's grand malls from the Shopping Malls DLC, uh, which is absolutely one of the best content creator packs. If you don't have it, you get a whole bunch of really nice, big, chunky mall assets, which is very helpful for the vanilla game. Of course, without delving into custom assets on the Steam Workshop. So I think that's what we'll do today. I reckon we get a stadium in here as well, alongside train station on this line as well. So I'm going to draw this arterial out a little bit, and now I want to start looking at exactly how we can start positioning these assets. So in my mind, I have a vision of how I want this to look. So let's place down the Mall of Marvels, first of all. A real nice asset, this one. And uh, it's very fancy. Uh, it's got a couple of sides to it. We've got this one over here, which I think is the more... I guess grandiose of the entrances, isn't it? Compared to this one. But I think we'll have it roughly here anyway. So let's bring out a road to tether this onto. And I don't want to have this too close to the highway here because we want to allow traffic to breathe a little bit. So I might even go for... What's that about? Can we measure 20 units-ish? About there is 20 units, is it? Let's go for that then. And we want to give this a little bit of breathing room. So we'll do another stretch of 20 as well. Now I want this to be probably here, I reckon. And we'll take that away and we'll decide exactly how we're going to hook it in in a second as well. So we are on slightly different terrain heights here. Let's just push ourselves down. Now the station itself, which I guess we should look at now while we're here, um, is going to be slightly embanked too. So I think we're going to use the same bypass station we used before um, down here. And what I do want to do is just measure how far off this road it is up to the line. So that's seven units, so that should allow us to place station pretty nicely again it is going to be slightly embanked here which should be quite nice in the end i think uh, so let's do seven units let's draw this down here and then see if we can get our station placed cool so that's a pretty painless <laughs> i suspected that to be a lot more of a struggle but i'm happy with that so now we can have a station service, a grand mall complex, and of course an eventual stadium as well. We'll have a look at stadium. That's going to be in a second. And we can really isolate this now as a little bit of an elevation, which I think would be quite nice. Don't want to make it look too unnatural there. That will definitely have some kind of detailing around here uh, during our eventual time lapse, of course. Uh, we could actually bring trains into this. Of course, the plan is to have them run as a full loop. So we might as well bring this one down to start from over here now. And then we'll add the stops back at the station that it is now bypassing. Wonderful. So this is the line, of course, that runs into Central uh, Sherry. And then into Orchid Park and recently into the Geth Library. So we should see trains arriving here, which will be a lot of fun. Let's now let's return to our road network. So we have our mall down. We've got our station. Let's have a look at the stadium now. So, of course, we're going to use one of Bad Peanuts. Of course, I recently met Bad Peanut in Finland, which was very cool <laughs> to meet a legend of the community like that. A really nice person. Yeah. Super pleasure to meet them. Uh, so, I don't want anything too big here, but also nothing too small. Um, so, we went for baseball previously, didn't we? So, I reckon maybe a city American football stadium might be pretty cool here. Let's start to arrange a road configuration for our mall. I think we'll go for the medium with trees. And I really, at the minute, just looking to box this off. It's likely we'll bring in some uh, pedestrianisation here at some point today. But how and where that takes place is yet to be seen. Cool. So that'll do that, I think. So with that pedestrianisation, why don't we see if we can maybe have it head up from this road here. And then we can surround the rest of the mall entrance with some car parking. So I think we'll just go for a single one. I don't think we need the double width ones here. And we'll have lots of tree lining as well. Make it quite a fancy mall today. Uh, we also should bear in mind the eventual connection for the arterial that connects the other suburbs in here. Uh, which will eventually be 
this one coming through to link up with this one, and then eventually link up with this one, with a view to head into the city centre. So this is going to be quite an important road. So let's make sure we allow it to flow nice and easy. I'd like it to... I really like this mall complex to be kind of isolated by the arterial frames. So as you're driving past it, you get this big shopping centre complex with lots of car parking in the front. Got some tree linings in here too. And essentially visible from both sides as well. Might even trim back a little bit of the forest here as well. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out anyway. Uh, so I guess we could actually already hook this in, couldn't we? Because there is already a road ready and waiting. Are we going to cross the road somewhat sensibly? Or is it going to be an absolute nightmare? Can we get 30 in there? Is that alright? Yeah, it's not too bad. So it's pretty similar to the one down there, isn't it? Uh, that will go over there, whilst this one, the grass median, which probably doesn't need to be grass median here, until we decide whatever's going to live over here, and hook into there. It'll be interesting to see if AI actually want to drive this. I imagine they'll probably jump on the highway instead, had to get further back down this way, but I suppose we'll see. The intersection is still very busy as well, isn't it? So uh, we'll see if anyone takes that. Let's hope they do. Uh, until that, we can now start providing entrances into our mall. Uh, we'll come back to our small roads and let's grab a medium with grass. And we'll just hook this in wherever it makes sense. Probably not here. I think we'll let our cars drive around the side. Uh, to that car parking, which we'll place in now, because that's going to be a real key aesthetic of the build, isn't it? Jump into our parking. Uh, we'll do these ones, I think. I think for this, I think I actually want to change the positioning of the car parking. So let's bring ourselves a road with no parking on it. Now if we were to have you there, and I think I'd like to leave tile in the middle. I think this build today, because we're playing kind of so car park heavy, if you like, it's in danger of becoming too concrete heavy. Would you look at that? <laughs> it's a... It's a tile too short. How does it look if we start to piece together the two pieces next door to them, I wonder? Is this too much of an obvious break in the pattern? It is a little bit, but I think it's enough that I can live with it. So we'll repeat that this side as well. Let me actually just double check what a four width sandstone road would look like here. It's a little bit grand, isn't it? It's a shame we can't get it right out the front door, but I think I can live with it regardless. Let's get a fancy tree on there too. Let's go for something quintessentially boreal. We'll do palm and pine here, maybe. It's quite nice, isn't it? And then maybe something a little more tame around the edge of the moor. We'll do a young linden down here, I think. Grab that all the way around. Cool. I'm also interested to see, as we are every episode, <laughs> whether or not their poor apron collides with this asset. It does not, which is. Uh, very nice, actually, because we can expand our spaces around here with some prop work, which would be quite nice. Not everywhere, though. Definitely places like this. We can expand that out, so have some maybe tables out here, as if it's like an outdoor restaurant. And I guess maybe we could also do something similar here as well. Maybe just where it would make sense, something like that. Don't fill everywhere in. And I guess this probably wants concrete space out there as well, doesn't it? Cool, so that will really allow us to expand kind of the mall's footprint, if you like. I'm quite happy with that. What do we want for? Get to get some people in there. Everyone turn in on the road here as well to get into the mall. Which is nice. People parking on the main road, which is a little bit annoying. But uh, I guess we can fix that just by changing up the road type to mop in no parking. I guess maybe do you want to go some kind of six lane here? Six lane with grass would stop them from parking here. Maybe that's the shout. Probably will justify six lane here as well because this will be a fairly busy interchange when it's all said and done. And then in the middle where we've left the space, um, I didn't want it to be trees. So maybe we can just do maybe some shadier oaks within the middle. With that pattern continuing out onto the road, I think. Although, <laughs> what are you guys doing? Why are you doing that? It's parked on top of somebody else as well. There's more spaces available, mate. 
that's on top of someone's Prius. I also don't want too much tree lining, so the view is totally blocked. So we'll have to be wary of that as we build around as well. But wonderful. So let's focus on getting the train station hooked in so people can actually arrive here, first of all. It'd be helpful, wouldn't it? Uh, so off of the frame here, can I upgrade this now? No, I can't because it's hooked into the station, isn't it? That's okay, though. It's okay. I mean, that's a pretty sensible connection there, isn't it? Fantastic. And now let's allow space for our stadium. So I'd like some more car parking around the back of the mall as well. Uh, in a pretty similar configuration to this, so we can probably mimic it. Uh, so out of here, let's do 23. Now, can we get the parking up to the same configuration here? We'll just do two this way. Box this in. Uh, the next node point. Oh, we can actually come out of these. Okay, that's quite handy then. I might even actually bring out a little bit of a... Uh, frontage here now definitely wouldn't have two nodes this close together on a main arterial system as this is just essentially parking service road we can get away with it and of course it's all off by one tile <laughs> what else <laughs> Of course it is. I think with this one then we won't honor the same pattern. We'll just fill that in so it kind of looks the same from far away. And now we can box this in and we'll have a road just run around the edge of them. Wicked. So in vanilla, I'm kind of scared of getting too big with the car parts because they don't always really fill them up. Um, I guess if you had advanced parking AI on with traffic manager, you could get away with it a little bit more, but do you want to be carry wary of doing it a little bit too much? So I definitely think we'll definitely also surround this with some uh, shopping malls stuff as well from King Lano. So let's set up the entire stadium district and then we'll give this a name from one of our patrons as well. We go for the Ashby Arena and Mall after our patron, Dave Ashby. Thank you for all your support, mate. You are a legend. And we're going to give Dave the shopping malls DLC. Specialization. Uh, and then with this, we could do a little bit more pedestrianization. Would I be against that? I probably would be, I think. Uh, so then with these spots here, I think we'll just fill with... Well, then again, do I want them on the arterial? Don't, don't really want this road getting super busy. I don't know. I think I need to see it before I know. <laughs> it's it's going to be one of those. We'll let that grow up. That's going to be a lot of commercial. We should probably have a police station over here as well. Why it's a big... A convention sort of facility with stadiums and malls and whatnot. So we can't even squeeze one of the police stations in. Don't need a massively expensive one, I don't think. Don't really want to spend lots and lots on it. One of the vanilla ones, do we want them there? I would like the larger one. It does also fit into a corner as well. Maybe we can have that there. I'm not entirely sure. Should encourage some commercial growth regardless. Uh, whilst that does grow up, let's now turn our attention toward that stadium. Which is probably going to occupy this space here. So, we could go American football. Um, I don't think we've really got... And again... Hmm, do we want to go actual football? I think we may. I do like this stadium. It's not too big either, which is definitely part of my criteria today. Don't want a massive arena. You'd have a great suggestion last episode, maybe having the Arrow Park uh, baseball arena, the huge one that we had in Orchid Bay's downtown, and positioned right up against the massive National Y interchange, which I think will be quite fun. I think every bit of orientation around this interchange is going to be really cool to play with, isn't it? We'll see anyway. Uh, yeah, I think we'll go with this one then. I think we will. Uh, let's just move him out of the way for right now. Uh, and then... Let's have a little look at playing with an angle. So can we do 45 degrees straight across like that, I think. I'd then like these roads to be tree with median as well. And how about just having a stadium right here? I don't think that's too horrendous, is it? That's quite nice. And we can do another little plaza out here at the front as well. And we'll have opportunities for lots of prop detail around this build, which would be nice for vanilla. And that will bring the Lindens back through here too. Fantastic. Fortunately, they do all park on this road, which is annoying. 
you have network multi tool, you can unlock this and change it out for a road with no parking. And how do we feel about the more blocks over here? Yeah, I can get on board with that, I think. Uh, let's also prepare this junction to run off into the downtown as well. Uh, which will go pretty much that general direction for right now. So we'll end up with a big important crossroads here. Especially with the builds that end up sitting around this. I think this corner is going to become quite important. Also remembering our transition to medium density to move up here as well. Cool. So that kind of completes the frame of the main build here. Now I wouldn't be totally averse to having some low density homes. Maybe fill these spaces on the opposite side. Of the arterial as well. Because I think definitely if you're looking like American malls. They're surrounded by lots of car parking. And then beyond that you kind of tend to fall back into a suburb. And we should also respect our low density climb around here as well. And so kind of similar to what we did with the mall. I think I'd like a little bit of a. Almost green belt perimeter. To run around the edge of the stadium facility. So. Can't bring you back up there. Which is okay. Well, I'll tell you what we will do. Is let's box in the back of the stadium. And we might connect that one up to there as well in a second. And then we'll connect that one in. Trim this one back. And then what sort of space did we leave around the front? We're playing with a two-tile detailing gap there. It's a little bit deeper over here, isn't it? So let's do something similar. So let's come off the road guideline here. Just want to be playing with the grid orientation. We'll have six meters. I think I'll actually remove this connection. And then bring it in on that one instead. And then off the edge here, I can just fill this in with some low density home frames to help continue to bring that population up. Because how far are we from our next tile? It's not really that far away. 5,000 people, a couple of suburbs and a bit of high density, we should be able to get that. I do also want to leave a little bit of the forest around here too. We probably won't be able to have any people up here. That's alright, we might even be able to justify a little bit of um, industrial evolution down here. Or just to help satisfy a little bit of industry demand. But I am wary of bringing maybe too much um, industrial traffic into these rooms. Oh, just look at that. There's people using the arterial. These are the first people down this way. It will seem so. We can also feed a bus route down here now as well, can't we? Because we do have access to either side of the river. Which will be good. So let's have a look at some buses now, actually. Uh, now we do have another bus hub over here, so let's go ahead and grab a line. Okay, so we've got a school bus coming into this plaza. Let's go ahead and set up a new line next door. You can come across the interchange, stop right by the pedestrian street. Then you can come around to the side, let's stop after another block or two again here. Do you want to bring it into the mall? I think it'd make sense, wouldn't it? Having it stopped there. Then it would conserve the stadium. And whatnot. Let's also... Bring that up there. Was that too steep? No, it's okay. And with this one, you can come up to the train station. Stop here. And then make your way... Back through the suburb, hitting these homes. You can rejoin the arterial over here. Then loop back up toward the station this way. Go ahead and name that bus as well. So that's going to be from the Goodwin Estate to the Ashby Arena. Now, I imagine this is going to be quite high capacity because it's passing by two unique buildings and a train station. So let's do... We do a double-decker bus. We never use the UK double-decker bus, do we? Let's go ahead and get that in. Wonderful. That's just that flowing. Right, returning to more of our zoning, I wouldn't... I'd like some green belt knocking around, you know. I don't want it to be totally enclosed with um, zoning. So maybe we can have this larger square here as a little bit of green belt. And then can we possibly mimic another block coming through this way, I wonder. Have a look. I'm not sure what sort of configurations we'll get with the broken zone in here for shopping malls, but we'll try it. We'll see what we think of it. Then again, it's going to be best just to have it on that point, isn't it? Where it is more friendly to zoning. 
I think we'll go with that one. Let's just fill that space in then. I'll be happy with that, I think. Should give us a more cohesive block like that. Again, great assets from King Leno, these, aren't they? Really love the shopping malls part. Uh, and then with the airport aprons, I don't want to disturb the zoning, but would like to make this kind of walkable concrete space. So we see people passing by here. We will have to create a new district for the suburb because it is a district specialization. So we'll do that here. Let's just push this along the frames of the current grid. And then we'll also follow this up with Ashby Gardens too, where we're so close to Dave's Arena. And then we'll give that the European Suburbia specialization. And let's just get some low density growing around here. Yeah, pretty much and up until that border and we'll have kind of a nice tree barrier around here as well. And then um, I think we'll also bring out some more suburban roads here. What's the topography looking like around this area? It's not too bad. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the hillside yet. We have had a few suggestions, but nothing concrete yet. Maybe an observatory up here might be quite nice. Let's have um, well, one day we'll have a view of the entire city from up here as well. And I'm pretty sure the uh, Aquila Salai mountains aren't really at all buildable because they're just they're, they're too steep. So any mountain top builds, I think, will be put out out this way, maybe. Maybe this is where the um, current dead arterial can flow and we can have a bit of a mountain road start to trail up through these hills uh, to an eventual observatory at the top. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Did also ask, uh, someone asked if we're going to do the same uh, delta terraforming job on this side of the river that we did. Uh, over here. Um, I think it's likely because I really like how this turned out. So you can kind of see where it also wants to happen here. I'm probably here as well. So we'll probably do the same thing over there too. But that is a very long way away. But what isn't a long way away is our segue to the detailing time lapse uh, because we have some details to do here. Lots of green belt prop work around the mall. Uh, some plaza and more general detailing around the station. How is this doing by the way? We haven't really seen anyone arrive here. Lots of people waiting for the bus. But lots of them also walking down as well, which is nice. Very good. So that's getting used as well. And of course we have the bypass line through here as well, so the intercity trains can go through. Fantastic. Here's the bus. Very exciting. So we'll keep our eye on that capacity as well. Hopefully it doesn't need to be increased. But either way, let's detail up the Dave Ashby Mall and Sport Arena Complex, and then we'll be right back.
Okay, guys, let's have a little detailing review, shall we? So, really love building these complexes. Uh, so, we'll start off by where we started. Uh, all our car parking is in now with the tree designs and a little bit more commercial over here on the highway entrance. Uh, we may need to split this junction here, I think, into a little bit of a smoother exit as the vanilla traffic mechanic does stop it from flowing here. More so, it's like this junction rather than kind of a straight 90 degree one like this, just so the flow is a little bit better. But it is something to keep an eye on as this area grows out. Uh, further down, we've added a pedestrian elevation just to take pressure off of the crossing junction here, uh, which is getting a nice bit of use. We've got some props out the front of the mall here with park assets and a little bit of texture work next to the police station as well. Around the edge, also added in a hotel, which is actually a full profit now, which is quite nice with the addition of a couple of office zones around nearby too. And then our full European suburbia sits up against the hillside now where we reintroduce the forest. A nice little way to squeeze in some residential up against this side, I think. Possibility to expand it out this way as well, but uh, I think these areas are a little ways off being fully developed just yet. Also chucked in another uh, waste processing centre here as well since we were getting some garbage demands for this side of the city. So we'll have to factor that into a build in the future as well. Uh, around the back of the mall, we have lots of green belt in and around more of King Leno's mall stuff, which is just such a nice pack, isn't it? If you haven't got this one, really recommend picking it up. You get some really authentic alleyways uh, with these buildings too, if you position them rightly, which is super helpful for vanilla. Uh, at the front of the mall, we have a little bit of a bush design with some planters and some birches, just to kind of decorate the front of this area, uh, which I think turned out quite nicely. Uh, there's an information booth with more parasols and part life tables over here as well. I think which really helps complement these corners on the mall as well, doesn't it? Um, I think in vanilla, without all these unique buildings making kind of at least realistically scaled infrastructure, like a big pedestrian shopping mall like this is, is kind of hard. So it's always nice to bring these assets in, I think. Uh, over the other side, there is a little bit of delivery over here with some fencing just to complement some props that were already on the mall over here, although I think a mall this size might need a bit more than just two dumpsters. Uh, there's a little bit of a family area around the side with some a very busy playground, a couple of tennis courts with some path work, uh, up against the stadium which is getting a nice bit of use, especially on a match day which is really nice to see isn't it? And then all these people are making their way back and to from the train station. Uh, we can have a look at the bus, which isn't doing too badly at all, some vehicles are full. But the stations are, well, the, the other stops aren't really uh, that busy at the minute. So the bus is handling its current volume of traffic, which I imagine the train is also helping quite a bit with that as well. Speak of the devil, there it is. <laughs> so these people can arrive from pretty much from all across Rannoch. You can hook into this public transport line here. And of course, one day it will complete a full loop around so we can have trains running in both directions on this line one day. But we do need the next tile to unlock in order to do that. And then further over here, uh, we designed um, another little concrete plaza with pathways, little grill, a couple of benches, a statue of Jerry Senior, of course. Really love that you can see all the back of the crowd in there as well as they meander through the stadium. That's really cool, that, isn't it? Very nice. They got a really cool view over to the mall from the back of the stadium here. I really like how all that turned out. Again, lots of walkable space around the edge of the stadium before we do blend back into that European suburbia, of course, which is always a favourite, isn't it? Which has helped to boost our population a little bit today. We are approaching 29,500, so I reckon after the next high-density development, which is going to be Brooklyn's and Queen's, I think, if not Green Cities, in this space, I think, as we move a little bit further north toward the eventual downtown. Of course, remembering that grander crawling height as well, you know, we have a medium-density build here now. So we want to carry on medium density up through these ways before we do arrive at that eventual downtown high density skyscraper space on this waterfront here, I think. It's really nice to see all those medium density bits crawling up, isn't it? It's, uh, I'm really beginning to enjoy this part of the city now. And maybe we'll turn away <laughs> and turn our attention toward at this space here, because I imagine... I don't know what the next tile is going to be. It's probably going to be this one, isn't it? Is there a tile on the next milestone? 46,000, yeah, so probably this tile will pop next so we can really start rocketing towards those higher populations to make sure we have the room to fully bring in here. And I think that's it, really. It's a really fun build, a nice mix of commercial, residential, office, and unit buildings. That adds to a really nice kind of stadium 
uh, more complex, doesn't it? I'm, I'm very happy with it. And over here now, we are seeing quite a few people uh, begin to use this road back into to the other side of the city. So people are now starting to pick that up. And of course, once that's hooked in, they'll also give another way for people to get in and out. Well, there's all this BRT system. This road and these roads to all eventually join in with this network as well. Once that tile does unlock, of course. So it will all come to fruition. <laughs> very, very slowly, but very surely. And I love the positioning from the highway here as well. It's um, a real nice bit of kind of civilian entertainment infrastructure, I suppose, here on the edge of the highway. Otherwise, guys, that will do it for today. Let's thank you all so much for watching. A massive shout out to all the patrons that support the channel with a special roll call to Andrew Perez, Louis Adlam, and Ohexino. Thank you for all your support, Legends. If you want to get involved in that instant gaming and Patreon are down below. Lots more egg to get involved with, should you like it. Really love this build today. The climb towards Rannox medium density continues. And it's nice to see all the public transport lines really integrating into all these different builds as we build alongside them. I think it's definitely the advantage of preparing them in advance with those network prepping episodes to really allow areas like this to function and flow properly. And it's really nice. We'll definitely continue the lower density suburbia heading back towards the way we're looking as well. Again, with that kind of grander vision of how the city looks in mind with the medium density being down this end and then we'll definitely get more towards skyscrapers as we head further toward the coastline but lots more fun to have in Bannock. thank you for continuing to support the cs1 content it means the world to me that you guys still choose to watch it all these years later but thank you so much for that otherwise please do enjoy today's cinematics but i'll shut up and leave it there let's thank you all again so much for watching and as always enjoy the rest of your day